Hello everyone! Please excuse my life that is kind of haphazardly thrown about behind me. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I tried to tidy up at least a little bit, but the daylight is waning and I just I gotta get this filmed. So please forgive me. I mean, I'm really not that sorry, but I guess for those of you that care about the state of my apartment, you know, you can pretend like I'm sorry just so that you can sleep better at night, so. That's out of the way. <laughs> that came off really bitchy, didn't it? Ah, so, it's the end of April. I'm stressed out. How are you guys doing? <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. We can do this. I've got my thesis coming up. I just finished classes. And I'm just... Shoot, son. Shoot. So, like everyone else, I am here to do my monthly favorites, my best and worst of beauty, talk about the good, talk about the bad, and share it with all of you through the wonderful place we call the internet. So let's sing the song together, shall we? It's the best and worst of beauty, whether good or bad, I spent my money. Yeah. <laughs> So as you probably saw, this month is another six product pyramid instead of a 10 product pyramid. I just, you guys, if I've even been able to wear makeup, it's a great day. <laughs> so I really have not been wearing that much makeup this month. I mean, just bare minimum tried and true products. So I've only got a few like kind of new things here to show with you, some oldies, some goodies. Actually, only one of the things is an oldie. <laughs> But, uh, 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 let's move on. So, at the bottom of the pyramid, I've got these replacement heads for my Clarisonic. I know some of you hate the Clarisonic. Some of you think that it is made by Satan and only used by Satan and his minions. Well, call me Satan's minion because I love my Clarisonic. It does wonderful things for my skin. Thank you all who think my skin would be better without it and are trying to give me advice against it, but it works for me, so let's all just be happy, yay! <sighs> so, you know, you have to buy the replacement brush heads or whatever, you have to change the brush head every three months on your Clarisonic, and it makes a huge difference, trust me, but the one thing that does not make a difference now, I have always used just, I think they're the deep clean or something heads, they're the white ones with the blue ring in the middle. Well, I decided to just, you know, spontaneous, be wild, go crazy. I decided to try a different brush head type. This is the acne cleansing brush head. So this is the one with the white and then the green circle. Well, me and pretty much everyone else said, is there really a big difference between these brush heads? Because they look exactly the same, except one has a blue ring and one has a green ring. Well, I'm here to tell you, at least to me, it makes absolutely no difference. At least between those two heads, they feel the same, they look the same, except for the color difference, and they do the same job as far as I'm concerned. I saw no difference in my skin when I used this. It looks just as good as with the other brush heads, so I guess I just wanted to let you all know if any of you have been curious about whether or not this brush head is any different than the other brush head that looks just like it, no. They're probably the exact same thing. Like I said, they just dyed it a different color, so. That's just my opinion, but there you go. Now you have it. You can either put that in your pocket, tuck it away, or you can put it in the garbage, you know? You don't have to tell me, and then my feelings won't be hurt, so. Yay! <laughs> All right, so second on the bottom of the pyramid here, like I said, all of these products, they're good. They're great even. So don't think that these are bad products. I just like them less than other things that are on the pyramid, you know? I've got my Tarte Poppy Picnic palette that I really do want to call it the Poppy Princess palette. Can I call it the Poppy Princess palette? Pretty much every time. I have to be extra careful about the words that are forming in my mouth. Anyways, I got this at IMATS, and it's beautiful. It really is. Here, the sun is actually bright. I know it won't blind you blind you. I actually hate it when people say that because it's, it's not going to blind you, but it's going to be a huge, here, you want to see? Oh my gosh, you're blinded! No, you're not. It's just a huge white square, and it's annoying to your eyes. But there you go. There's the palette. It's beautiful. 
I got this at iMats, so I was able to get it discounted, and I'm so happy that I did, you guys. Oh. Basically, since Tarte came out with the Glisten blush, which is the one that is in the middle of this palette, I've wanted that blush. I love Tarte's blushes. They're 12-hour Amazonian clay blushes. They're phenomenal. They really do last all day, at least for me, and they're they're just a treat. I've always wanted glisten, but like, I don't know. Of all things makeup, blushes are kind of the last thing that I get excited about. It's lipsticks and mascaras and then, you know, down the line and then blushes are kind of at the end. I really did want glisten. They came out with it, I feel like a couple seasons ago maybe or something. Like they first introduced it in a holiday or something or I don't remember you guys. It was a while ago. I could not justify it. But when I was at IMATS and Tarte was the first booth that I went to and I was like, I want to spend my money on something and I see that Glisten, a full-sized Glisten is included in this palette that comes with this beautiful floral poppy packaging and it only costs $4 more than if you were to buy a full-size Glisten blush, you know. I, I had to get it, really. There was no debating there. So. For me anyways, I was able to get this palette for $30. For anyone who did not go to iMats, this is $38. I don't know that I would say it is worth $38. Now, let me explain. <laughs> this is a beautiful palette, it really is. I love Glisten, I've been wearing it practically every single day this month. It is a beautiful, beautiful, just peachy pink blush and it's got a gold, almost frost laced through there and it stays on my cheeks all day and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love Glisten, worth every penny there. Where I kind of hate this palette, and I, it's not hate, but you know, the bad part about this palette is the fact that the trios on both sides, they're basically the exact same thing. A creamy beige, a light brown, and a dark brown, and then you've got a creamy beige, a peachy color, and a darkish brown. They're all matte, like, <laughs> if you did or did not watch my Get Ready With Me, the last one that I put up, I'll link it down below, just like everything else for you. I did a tutorial type test thing with this palette, so if you want to see, like, close-ups and see the products in action and all that, definitely check that out. And I know a lot of people say, you know, well, this one that's on this side, this is a much cooler one, and this trio on the other side is a much warmer one. Well, I mean, not really, actually. Um, <laughs> I say that with love, I really do. I'm good at colors, you guys. And yes, this side of the palette is more cool toned in relation to these shadows, but if you were to not be comparing them to each other, like if you were to just pull this top color out and just look at this top color or the middle one or the bottom one, these are all warm toned. They really are. They're just less of a warm tone than the ones on this side. Does that make sense? So there's really not much versatility in terms of the eyeshadows here. They are really buttery, super pigmented. They blend gorgeously on the lid. They do not fade throughout the day, at least with a primer underneath them. And they're really nice that way. I just don't think that they're unique enough to justify getting this pen. Does that make sense? I mean, if you're an eyeshadow freak, whatever, you're a palette freak, blah blah blah, you like limited edition things, great. Go get the palette. I would say it's worth your money. But if you, like, already own the Tartlet palette with all the matte shadows, slash if you own any of the naked palettes or any matte shadows at all, you probably already own every single one of these colors in here. So I would just suggest getting Glisten on its own because that blush is freaking beautiful, but... I love you, Poppy Picnic Princess. I really do. I just, I think the shadows could have been a bit more versatile or a bit more different, and that would have really made this palette worth it. Next up on my pyramid, I feel like in every single pyramid since this package was sent to me, Karen, I feel like I've mentioned you. Well, that's because you've sent me too much. But I love everything that I've tried from you so far, and this month it happens to be this baby bottle of perfume. This is the original Mark by Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume, or is it just Marc Jacobs? I don't... I don't know. Either way, it's Marc Jacobs. 
It's the original Daisy. And it's just in the little cute tiny baby packaging and it's got the little rubber. I love his bottles of perfume, you guys. But I don't know why. In high school and whatnot, maybe not in high school, but like early college years when I was trying to kind of, you know, find a perfume for me and that sort of a thing, you know, an upgrade from a body mist from Bath and Body Works or whatever. I remember I had sniffed Daisy and I didn't like, I don't know why I didn't like it. I think I associated it too much with like the popular girls in school. They're like it, it was too girly and I didn't want to be a girly girl. Like, I don't know. I had some sort of opposition to this perfume for whatever God given reason. And so I just kind of stayed away from it. I love his other Daisy perfumes though. So like, I don't know why I didn't try and revisit it because this perfume is so nice, just like his other ones in the line. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Marc Jacobs, aside from the wear time, you do perfume well. It really is a shame because like said, his perfumes only last about four hours on me and then they start to fade, but it smells so nice, you guys. Just a really nice, crisp, almost kind of like a pear scent, maybe a little bit on the apricot side, and then just a nice white floral. It's pretty simple, it's pretty basic, but it's pretty and I like it and I've been wearing it all month. Thank you so much, Karen. I really, I've been loving this perfume. You can tell by how much has gone in the bottle. I just, this is a joy to wear. Moving on up, moving on up to the second tier. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we're doing. So I have got my tried and true, my beautiful, my lovely, my everything, my Stila smudge stick. And this is in the shade Lionfish. It is a beautiful, 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 warm, dark kind of, but still kind of on the light side brown. And it's got some gold flecks running through it. You guys, I've said it before and I'll say it a million times. I don't care. I, I need to convince you. Stila smudge sticks are everything. I love them. They are so creamy. They last for forever, I swear. I've had this for over a year now, at least, and it's not even close to being dried up. It stays creamy and it stays wonderful. You can draw it on your skin, your eye, your, I mean, wherever you're doodling, I guess. You put it on and then you have time to smudge it out, which I do with just an angled liner brush. Sometimes I'll use like a powder shadow, like a sparkly brown, glittery something to emphasize this color, but I just use that. I smudge it out and you're good. That is not going anywhere until you decide it's coming off with your makeup remover. Basically I've been wearing Lionfish like all month. Whenever I have been wearing makeup it's been Lionfish and mascara and then like a lip color. I love the Stila smudge sticks. I own a bunch of these and by a bunch I think I own three, maybe four. I think it's three though. I just love them. They're perfect in every way, shape, and form. I know a lot of times these will go on sale on Holt Look. They really work a treat. I'm not a big waterline person, so I can't really say how well they work in the waterline, but I can attest to the skin around your eyeball. It's great. Did really, really, really good. So definitely give Steel Smudge Sticks a try if you haven't already, because I swear by them. I just love them. <laughs> Ba -ba -da -ba, second from the top, we've got a lip product because it's me and I love lip products. So, yay! I just recently did a first impression on this guy and oh my goodness you guys, I'm so in love. So in love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You would think I haven't really had that much time to test this out based on when I posted that video, but in reality, I actually tried this out the week before I went to IMATS. It's just that that's when I finally got around to editing that video and uploading it for you all. I am so sorry if that bothers you, but um... So yeah, I've honestly been wearing this practically every single day that I have gone outside of my apartment and I love it. I love this color. I love the formula of this stuff. It really does stay put on your lips. I don't care if I'm eating, drinking, kissing Galileo, whatever. This color is not going anywhere. It is attached to your lips and yet when you take a makeup remover cloth to it, my Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Makeup Removing Wipes, Oh my gosh, how many times, if I wish, if I had a dollar every time I say that, <laughs> whew, I wouldn't have to worry about student loans, that'd be nice. And no, of course, I'm not wearing it on my lips today. I'm never that convenient. I know, I know. But 
this is lovely. Love the color. It is very, very similar to the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Darling that I absolutely adore. And unfortunately, it was discontinued. I think you can still find them kicking around on like Amazon and whatnot. But if you're looking for a replacement or, you know, a dupe-ish, this isn't exactly the same color, but it really does give off like the exact same feel and all that sort of stuff. Plus, it stays put. So, really, really great. The balm on the other end, it's really nice. It's got a light lemony cake kind of a smell to it, like a lemon tart or something. It's kind of a more oily balm, so it... I'm kind of mixed with my feelings on the balm. It definitely, and okay, I think this is purely because I'm a lip balm addict, but it really does keep your lips moisturized, but it feels like it's not on your lips, you know? It's one of those balms where it really does sink in, but then you can't like feel it, and so you're like, I need more balm on my lips, I have nothing on my lips, but it's, you're okay. But you're an addict, so you don't feel okay, and you feel like you need to reapply the balm. And I mean, you can reapply the balm, it doesn't hurt the lipstick underneath it, but... I really have been loving this. Like I said in that first impressions video, these I know are notorious and as well as other brands like the Rimmel Provocalypse and stuff, these like half lipstick, half balm concoctions, a lot of the companies that make these, they're very very different based on the colors in the line. Like this one is phenomenal, but I know if you go onto that video and you look through the comments, people say that there are different colors that are just awful. There are also comments from people saying that different colors are are wonderful just like this one so definitely have a sift through there because I can't think of the colors off the top of my head and I personally have not tried any other colors other than this one but I believe it said on L'Oreal's website that there are 24 different colors so I'm sure you'll find something that you like and hopefully the formula is just as good because this one is definitely a winner and I don't think I said it but this is number 105 Lilac Infinite. It's 13 bucks which is like all sorts of stupid but you know if you can wait around at Ulta or something for them to have a sale on L'Oreal products or you know you get your 350 off $10 coupon maybe you've got some Ulta points you know you can find ways around the $13 and make it actually drugstore price ish if that makes any sense so totally worth it though I really have been loving this and I'm very happy I tried it out <laughs> All right, you guys, top of the pyramid. Can you guess what it is? I feel like I've been talking about it so much lately. Well, I shouldn't say it. I should say them. It's not a makeup product. It's tools. These are my outer beauty brushes that I got from iMats. Thank you so much, Jen, for letting me touch your brushes while we were waiting in line for NYX for me to buy those lip products. No regrets. No regrets, just happiness. There's also a fourth one that comes in the set that I purchased. I got the Be Flawless Kabuki brush set or whatever. They also have a three-piece one. It might be these three brushes, but don't quote me on that. Go to their website. <laughs> I'll have their information down below, but you know, like I said before, Google's your best friend. Just type in Outer Beauty and you'll get there. Trust, I... Sometimes you guys are so dependent on me, but you should really be dependent on Google because that's what I'm dependent on, so... I'm just the middleman. But yeah, these brushes, they were on a great deal at iMats. They were 20 bucks off. So the set of four brushes, it's usually $52. So it's 13 bucks a brush, which I know seems a little pricey, but the quality, you guys, the quality is so there. The handles are beautiful. They're like a nearly matte, sleek black feeling. They've got the nice silver ferrule there. And the brushes themselves, I know I haven't washed them, leave me alone. They're so soft. They're so lovely. You just, you gotta touch them, you guys. You've got to touch them. They feel very much like Galileo. So if you've ever wanted to know what Galileo feels like, these brushes are pretty darn close. They just work a treat. They buff in your makeup so beautifully. These three, I mean the other one, it's a good brush. It's like one of those tapered kabuki brushes. I just personally don't have a need for one of those. I don't know, that's just me. But these three are brushes that I actually use and have uses for them. <laughs> like the round kabuki, I buff my foundation in with this. The flat top kabuki I use for powder to put on top. And then this contoured angle kabuki works so good for contour. Oh, oh, they're so good, you guys. They're just beautiful brushes. I have not had one hair shed out of these brushes. 
and they just do beautifully. I love them. I love them so, so much. And like I said, I'm just so happy that Jen introduced me to Outer Beauty brushes. I'm really, if I didn't already own a lot of brushes, I would probably buy more, but like my brush collection right now is at a good place. But the next time I need brushes, that is where I will be going for sure. That is it for today. That is it for my April 2015 Best and Worst of Beauty. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some products to maybe go out and try or maybe some products to avoid depending on what your personal tastes and wants and needs are. I hope you all had a wonderful month of April. I hope May will be a good month for you as well. Slash if April was a terrible month, heck, May can't get any worse, right? So let's keep looking up. Things will be brighter, hopefully. If anything, just know that there are other people suffering with you. I mean, first world suffering for sure, but like, you know. I hope you guys are all well. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!